So for four episodes in an Obi-Wan series, he has been trying to save Leia. So let's, guys, let's keep it real. This isn't an Obi-Wan series. This is an Obi-Wan and Leia series. Here's the thing. Better episode. Better episode. The episode was cool. Not great. Some issues, but the episode was cool. But there's another way why the issue that I see is so there are six episodes. This is episode four. There are two episodes left. How much more have we learned about Obi-Wan? How much more do we know about his character? Like, have we actually gotten anything more about this guy's character? Something new that we did not know before? I don't think so. <clears throat> I'll keep it real with you. I don't think that we've actually learned anything new about this freaking dude. So, it begs the question as to what was the point in this series? Because with two episodes left, how much more character evolution? Or how much more I was, or his character coming up? Because look, see, I'm, I'm looking at this, at this and I'm saying to myself that so for four episodes in an Obi-Wan series, he has been trying to save Leia. So let's, guys, let's keep it real. This isn't an Obi-Wan series. This is an Obi-Wan and Leia series. Because people have to say, well, you know, Lucas didn't um, show that she had force powers. We're going to now prove to you that Leia was really something, blah, blah, blah. This is an Obi-Wan and Leia series. Because what I thought was, oh my gosh, you can't screw this up. You can't. You've got Obi-Wan. You've got Anna, a damn good actor in Ewan McGregor. Make it a character study. And just make it fully, totally focused on Obi-Wan and actually show people what Ewan McGregor could have done in those prequels if he actually had better lines and a better script. But what you've done is, because you've, again, you've wasted Ewan McGregor. Now, he looks much better in this than in the prequels, but you've wasted him. You've wasted him really because you have short changed him with having a layer there. Because now it's like, oh, let me go and save this little girl, Leia, blah, blah. Let's tell Leia, do all the other cutesy crap. Because, because Disney are such freaking morons. You always have to have that dumb, stupid, cutesy thing. Whether it's that dumbass, what's it called, baby Yoda, or all this other Leia. It's, it is so annoying. Because the other thing to myself that a story that would have made sense is a young boy. Um, the Empire is, is saying what's up. And the young boy actually wants to go into the Empire. So basically, like, Obi-Wan maybe lives in this village or so, or so for the way he gets to know the people and the family, but they don't really know who he is. And then this, this young boy is unhappy with how, where, where things are, and he, for some reason, he decides he wants to join the Empire. And Obi-Wan, who wants to stay hidden and so forth, he takes it upon himself to go and free that boy. To, um, go into the depths of the um, Empire and so forth to basically free this boy because in that boy, he sees Anakin. And it says that I am not going to allow what happened to Anakin happen to this boy. So that is a small bit of redemption that he has in trying to um, stop this boy from going into the Empire and so forth and actually saving him um, from, the, from the Empire, pretty much turning him. Something to that nature that it rhymes and goes in with what happened in the prequels. But you're not relying upon, hey, let's have another Obi-Wan video fight. Hey, let's bring in Leia. Let's bring in Luke. Because, oh... Just have a separate mission that doesn't need to involve Luke, Leia, or Vader. And here's my thing. If Vader is involved, they never meet. <laughs> they should never meet. They should come close to meeting, but they should never meet. I'm sorry. Like, they should never really meet. What this feels like, it feels like a fan because you've got a freaking numbskull moron in Captain Kennedy who, because she doesn't have a creative bone in her body, she has zero creativity, zero artistic integrity. All she wants to do is just give the fans what they want. Also, put some of her, her, her female agenda in there, but also just say, oh, what are the fans? Are? Oh, Obi-Wan Vader, let's just have them fight. Blah, 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 blah. No, you have to create a story. You have to create a proper story that makes sense and then make it the, in the best possible way and then let the fans decide what it is. <laughs> like when Lucas was making those films he wasn't saying hmm what do the what are the guys which they were no he was like no this is my art i'm going to create my art and whether you like it or not that down to you but as long as i feel this is the best possible art from me myself personally what however people will receive it is how they receive it so it's 
I just because I make and I look like with Riva, yes, Ms. Ingram, she's trying and everything, she's miscast. She's miscast. She just looks too nice and too friendly to really be convincing as some kind of an evil set. Um, this layer kid, she's too young. It's too annoying. It's and and she just it just it feels too childish. So even in those interrogations, I mean Deborah Chow, I mean, for goodness sake, why why would you choose a freaking ten year old? To play cards and also and why that ten year old? Because those interrogations seems <laughs> because look at what she looks like. It's like ah, ah, it's, it looks stupid. It looks it's so stupid. I mean why? Why did you have to cast a ten year old like that as as a well layer? Why even put a ten year old layer in this? Your shots changing Obi Wan. You had freaking Ewan McGregor there, a guy who you could have used and had put focus on him as a character and let him go really into the, the depths of our acting and so forth over six episodes. Oh man, Star Wars is yeah, it's finished. It's over. I keep telling you guys, it's over. When George Lucas sold this, he knew what he was doing. He knew that. All right, you guys are in good you know, business for for prequels. Here you go. Let's see how you like it now. People are saying, you know, those prequels they, they weren't great. Well, man, they weren't they, they, they weren't as aimless as, as this trash. At least the, the prequels had some sort of like, artistic integrity. This is just useless. <laughs> Two episodes to go. We'll see what happens, man. But you wasted it with McGregor.